Hey National Geographic, my name is John McDonald and I'm a Geometry High School teacher at Miller School of Albemarle in Central Virginia. Nestled in the rolling hills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, Miller has been educating students since 1878. Miller is a co-educational and college preparatory day and boarding school for grades 8 through 12. We serve local students around the Charlottesville area as well as national and international students from over 15 different countries. Our core teaching philosophy is to create opportunities for discovery and reflection by engaging the minds, hands, and hearts. My goal for this capstone project was for my students to discover, create, and reflect about the amazing geometric concepts of the golden ratio. Using and adapting the National Geographic article from the resource library on the golden ratio my students first discovered the terms of the Fibonacci sequence through the famous rabbit reproduction problem. They then made a visual representation of the Fibonacci sequence by adding two adjacent squares together in a sequence that forms a spiral. Here the relevant skill of observation from the learning framework was used where students developed explanations supported by multiple proofs. They proved the golden ratio by comparing the ratios of Fibonacci numbers as the limit approaches infinity, and through an algebraic proof where they needed to do some equation manipulation and then apply the quadratic formula. No, you factual. Since it's a negative and it becomes a positive. Students were introduced to Leonardo Pisano, aka Fibonacci, and learned not only of his mathematical contributions but also how living and learning abroad in North Africa and Turkey as the son of an Italian consulate greatly influenced him and allowed him to make such contributions back in Italy before the Renaissance. Here my students discovered several connections about the world from various perspectives. They learned that different cultures have contributed to mathematical and scientific thinking. Students then discovered how the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio are ubiquitous in the natural world and are part of nature's genetic code. Students were introduced to phyllotaxis, which is the arrangement of leaves on a plant stem, and how the golden ratio is used in nature to maximize sunlight and water for the plant. They designed their own leaf on paper by using the golden angle calculated from the previous algebraic proof. Here my students saw the golden ratio through the perspective of life science. Students then made a pentagram construction with a compass and a straight edge. I think I did this. Yeah, that's good. Now make your arc. Mine's way too big. Keep going until it touches the circle. Great. Label those points A and E. They tested the segments of the construction and found the golden ratio proportions are ubiquitous. Today we are in the design build classroom. Students then use their constructions to design and build golden ratio calipers. That's close to golden ratio. What did you get? 1.722. Here the relevant attitude of curiosity from the learning framework was used, where students experience an emergence in learning through doing and developing a deeper curiosity about how to do and create things. You just make a circle around each one of those things so you can have your circles preset. How did you get the 9.5 though? Where do we get that from? We did it 15.5 times 0.618. And you take this and you from the side and you get it centered. Putting it together. Students then use their calipers to test and sketch various objects from the natural and man-made worlds, yeah. such as in Renaissance art, company logos, body parts, insects, and various other objects. We discussed and debated why the golden ratio is included in art and design, and what makes it so attractive to human eyes. Finally, students use the ideas and concepts learned from the discovery part of this lab as an inspiration to design and create their own Fibonacci golden ratio work. Here, the relevant attitude of communication from the learning framework was used, where students created and published content across a diverse range of media and selected the format best suited for project goals. Because I like the way it looks. Golden ratio does incorporate into it in here, here, here. Golden ratio crab. Make a GIF. 
I'm working on my building and I'm trying to fix my windows. Yeah, I have a guideline for what to do for this side. Students reflected on their project work weekly and after four weeks presented their final projects. They wrote a short piece on how their project was inspired by the Golden Ratio Fibonacci. Professionally, this capstone really pushed me. It made me reach out to my colleagues across various subject areas, from engineering to music, and in the end, allowed me to offer a richer and deeper learning experience for my students.